Hello everyone, welcome back. So in video one about project description, you, you might have watched about what the requirement is and what are the objectives of this project. And this is video two, which we're going to learn here. Uh, what you're seeing now is video two and we are going to create UI. So the main objective for this video two is to complete uh, the project skeleton. So uh, the project backbone or whatever it is and uh, project solution. And also we will see uh, uh, about the UI, UI piece, UI part we are going to complete in this in this video too. So let's get started and I'm going to open Visual Studio now. So let's get started. Okay, so I just opened Visual Studio and I will be using Visual Studio Community Edition 2013 for this project. And I'm going to create new project now. So file, new project, and I'm going to select ASP.NET MT web, app web application. So it's taking some time and I'm going to select Visual Studio C Sharp under Visual C Sharp. So using Visual Studio, you can create a Visual Basic Project, C Sharp Project, C++ or F Sharp. So for this project, we are going to use Visual C Sharp and expand this and select Visual Studio 2012 and select ASP.NET MT Web Application. So if you are using any other Visual Studio, for example, 2008 or 2010 or 2012 or 2013 or 2015, so you might find this option at somewhere a different location, but still, so I'm selecting here ASP.NET MT Web Application. So I'm selecting this and click on OK. So I'll, this will create a solution and this will add a web project. So you can see at the bottom here, like it's a creating a project, web application file. OK, so it's taking some time. Okay, so now you can see that uh, it created a, it has a solution file and uh, and it has a web application inside that. Now, the first thing is, if you see our requirement, so let's go back to the requirement now. If you see our requirement, first we need to start with creating a, creating this three layer uh, header, left navigation and the footer. And here also we have header, left navigation and footer. Here also we have left header, left navigation and footer. So let's get started with creating a master page which we'll be reusing in web pages. So let's get started with creating a master page. So right click on this web application five and add new item. I'm going to add, add new item. I'm going to select ASP.NET web forms master page. So, so if you scroll down a little bit bottom, you can see here there is web forms master page. And I'm not going to change this name. Let it be site1.master and I'm going to click on add. Now, the first thing which I have to do is I need to, I, so now it's taking some time to add the master page. Okay, you can see here the master page is having HTML tag and head section and body tag. And inside that we have this content placeholder. So this content placeholder, we need to place this in the section which varies in all different pages. So for now, I'm going to push this a little bit down, so I'm not going to use it uh, for some time now. Okay, let's complete the UI now. So if you go back to this, so we are going to create this uh, uh, this format now. So so first we we are going to use tables. Although you can do it in different ways, like you can use div tag, or you can use ASP.NET tables, or you can use anything of your choice. But in this project, we are going to do using tables. So let's get started. So assuming that this total width of um, total width we are going to occupy, uh, let's see 1024 or whatever, and the height is 7, 760, 768 normally, ideally. So we are going to use that. So let's get started and let's see now. Now first, I am going to use the table tag. So let me use this table tag. And, and let's put border is equal to one. So I'm going to put border is equal to one. And and also I'm going to put width is equal to, uh, let's put in short form. So width is equal to, I'm going to give one zero two four pixels. One zero two four pixels is normally the width. And height will be 768 as per the resolution. So I uh, including uh, for the browser headings and all, I'm going to reduce a little bit. So I'm going to put here, um, so just height is equal to, I'm going to put here, let's take 690px. Okay, so I'm going to give some height, width and height for this and now, if you go back to the PDF file, you can see that, you can assume that this is a table and and here, this is, uh, this is one row and there's another row and there's another row. So we have three rows here, first row, second row and third row. 
and if you put dots here so you can assume this as a column and you can assume this as another column and the first cell is occupying two columns so we are going to use call span is equal to two for this and this here also it's occupying two columns so for header and footer we're going to use call span is equal to two okay so let's go back and and put here the first tr so we need to have three trs for three rows so let's put three r tag here and and i'm going to put uh, i'm going to put uh, inside that we need td and we need another td so we have two columns although we need to use call span two for the first row so we need three rows so let me copy this and and paste it here and paste it here so for this three rows i have added this and let me delete the space for the table okay good so now the next thing which we have to do here is the first row td is occupying two columns if you see here so the first row if you put this imaginary uh, so this is one column and this is another column the first row this row is uh, this cell is occupying two columns so we need to use call span is equal to two and align center for this image so let's use that call span is equal to two i'm going to remove one td because we are going to use call span two so i'm going to put here td call span two call span is equal to two okay so in this i'm going to put some image here so let's put uh, i'm going to add some image here so let's see how to create the image in in a while so now coming to second row in the second row if you notice the requirement here i need to put the links here and i need to put this content here so so now i need some uh, width for this in the second row first td i'm going to put width is equal to width is equal to let's assume some 240 pixels so i'm going to put some 240 pixels and i'm going to give align is equal to so we need to use style tag but that's fine this will also work align is equal to center so uh, ideally we have to use style tag there so that's fine so now and we need to use ahref anchor tags ahref is equal to uh, what do we need there we need to use uh, login.aspx we are going to create those pages now aspx and and we are going to put login let's add some couple of bia tags here so that uh, the links will come with some space so now i'm going to copy paste this for for the next now let me paste it here let me paste it here so what is we have factorial prime number add numbers divide numbers so here i'm going to put factorial.aspx and here i'm going to put factorial and here i'm going to put prime number and here I'm going to put prime number. Okay, so now I'm done with this uh, TD. And the second TD we need to have, uh, we need to have the body. So here the respective page content will be there. So in login page you'll have this content. So in in uh, factorial page you'll have this content, and in uh, prime number page you'll have this content. So this is the section where you'll have different content for different pages so this is a place where you have to put your ASP colon content placeholder so let's put this content placeholder in this place so I'm going to put this content placeholder and now uh, now come to the third row again third row is same as the first row we don't need this second column TD and and the first TD is going to occupy call span is equal to 2 so let's put call span 2 and I'm going to put here as uh, uh, let's take for example I'm going to put Amberson COPY semicolon and this is created by so created by created by Magna and 2015 okay so let's save this project and we are done with the master page so so what we have to do now is we are going to see how it looks like in the design mode so let's get let's see how it looks like in the design mode okay is more or less looking uh, looking decent so we have this left navigation we have this header image here and we have this uh, okay let's align the center so let's go back to the source and td and ideally you have to use style tag or you can use align is equal to align is equal to center let's see if this works or not i'm going to save it and look in the source okay that's working fine so so we are good and also image here i'm going to put align is equal to center so here I'm going to put here align is equal to center okay good so let's save this and let's see in the designer once again 
So this is looking good and uh, image here and this this this. So what we are going to do now is for this we are going to put background color some color and put uh, magnet.com or something. So what I'm going to do here is uh, for this I'm going to put here bg uh, uh, style tag so stl style and uh, there will be an attribute for bg color or background color so you can see here there is something called background color and I'm going to select that is a header so I'm going to select uh, some dark color let's take orange okay so let's see how it looks like okay uh, looking okay so for footer let me select some color like yellow let's not worry about the color combination anything should be fine for us so I'm going to put here style and um, and here I'm going to put here uh, background color again I'm going to select some color colon yellow or yellow green or light yellow let's select light yellow and let's see if we have light orange color here so color colon light orange do we have this light orange so let's see if we have light I mean, OP QRS light orange we don't have so that's fine so we are going to leave this as um, let's see how li how it looks like light green okay let's not worry about the color much okay so we have this uh, the combination doesn't look good so let's put here as uh, as orange okay so now let's save this and let's see how it looks like and where is this okay we must have put the double quotes so now let's see how it looks like so I'm going to save it now and let's see in the design mode okay this is looking more or less good and here in the source I'm going to put here font size so let's see if we have uh, if we put semicolon here and let's say font size we have and put colon we have large or uh, this is a header so let's select uh, extra large and I'm going to put here something like uh, my company uh, website okay let's save this and go to design okay this is looking good and I'm done with almost uh, the skeleton of this now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the login page so so with this uh, we are going to the next video so we are done with the first video where we just created a simple master page with the required UI okay thanks for watching keep watching for the next video thank you